everybody, and welcome to In the Sparrow's Nest. Thanks for joining us today. It's Theme Thursday. Can you believe that Thursday's here already? And Yvonne, from having you on, is having us dig through our dolly wardrobes to find reds, pinks, whites. How about just hearts? Or even better yet, just something that you love. And to celebrate today, we're going to have Valentina share with you what she's going to wear. Valentina is my mama's baby. She's visiting us while my mom is down south. And to join the fun, we're going to do Wendy's tag for Valentine's Day. Wendy of Weedy Dolls. So if you're ready to participate, let's get going. Okay, Miss Tinky Pink. Let's get your pajama on and we're going to start our tag. Let's see. Valentine's Day. Hmm, do you think it's overhyped? Or a fun day to spread the love? Well, anything can be overhyped. It just depends on how you celebrate your um, holidays. Here at the farm, we like to keep things really, really simple. So yes, definitely a day to spread the love. And honestly, I think I like to spread the love every day. <laughs> um, question number two. What's your favorite Valentine memory? Uh, like Wendy, I actually loved getting Valentine's Day in elementary school with the little paper mailboxes that we would make. That was always so much fun. But one of the uh, Valentine's Day memories that sticks out for me was when my half-sister was in kindergarten. And the teachers sent home a list of all the boys and girls in the classroom and asked to bring a valentine for each kid, basically doing, you know, basically what we did, the little mailbox thing. Well, <laughs> my stepmother, her mom said, you know, here are the cards. She picked out, you know, whatever little uh, paper valentine cards that she wanted. And she was to sign her name to each one of the cards. Well, and that went, that went really well until about the fourth card, realizing there were another like 15 cards to go. My sister started to throw a bit of a tantrum and did not want to sign any more Valentine cards. Well, my stepmother being, you know, we began it, now we're going to finish it, said, you have to. And to this day, my stepmother and I laugh at the fact that all those Valentine cards were signed in anger and frustration. <laughs> Not with the love and heart of Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, conversation hearts or chocolate covered strawberries? Well, chocolate covered strawberries, when strawberries are in season, are delectable. But in February, we can't find strawberries around here that are fresh. So I'm going to opt with the conversation hearts, even though I think the little sayings are a little bit too um, modern for me. <laughs> but um, uh, I will say they taste like chalk. I, there's no doubt about that. But I'm still going to opt with uh, chalk over unripe strawberries. <laughs> All right. Uh, a celebrity that you would like to have for Valentine's Day, or I guess spend the day with. And for me, I'm going to say Dolly Parton. And you're going to go, Dolly Parton? Hey, it's Dolly Parton. That woman to me is a woman of God. Friendship, love, acceptance. She has it all for me. She is beautiful inside and out. And I would love to spend a day with Dolly Parton. Uh, let's see, who are you going to celebrate Valentine's Day with? That would be Big Loring. And of course, all the animals here on the farm, maybe all the horses will get a carrot and all the puppies will get a, a dental chew bone. <laughs> um, Valentine Day dinner plan. So here, Loring and I actually take turns making dinner for each other. So whosoever um, turn it is on that particular night is actually who makes Valentine, who will make Valentine's dinner. So if it happens to fall on the night that I prepare dinner, I will probably make Lauren a homemade pizza. That's one of his very favorite, favorite meals. And uh, we make it with all the vegetarian fixings possible. And it's like that high. <laughs> See, where we live, we can't get pizza delivered here. So we make everything ourselves. And that's one of his favorite dinners. And of course, a nice red bottle of Shiraz, something nice and spicy. <laughs> uh, let's see, red or pink? 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with pink. Only because Sparrow really detests the color red if I'm wearing it. He'll sit here. He'll land here on anything that's red. But if I'm wearing red, no way. <laughs> Flowers or candy? Hmm. Candy. I do love the candy. Especially the fruit flavored candy. But Valentine's Day is one of those days I like to make an exception. And I actually bought this for, for Loring. A little chocolate heart. And I love this size chocolate heart or little chocolate pieces because I can say I ate the whole box and not feel guilty. <laughs> There's usually <laughs> some good ones in there and I really do enjoy a piece of chocolate every now and then. Uh, next question, sushi or pizza? Oh, definitely the pizza. Beer or wine? Well, I prefer the wine, but my husband actually likes beer. But I think if we had to choose one or the other, we would do wine. And describe the perfect Valentine date night. Let's see. With as many animals that we take care of, a perfect date night is with no ailments, no sick dogs, no ailing horses, <laughs> no sad kitty cats, uh, no goats that are unhappy that it's raining. That is the perfect date night when everybody is healthy and happy. And maybe we'll watch a movie at the end. <laughs> So anyway, so that's the end of the tag. We hope that you'll participate too. Tags are always fun to do. And we're all through here dressing our little Valentina. Oh, maybe I'll put uh, her little white booties back on. And then I'm going to show you the rest of what we have for Theme Thursday. Stick around. Okay, dear friends. And here's our other love in the nursery. We love Snoopy. Snoopy and Woodstock. And maybe another beagle or two. But Snoopy is one of our favorite puppers. Yep. We have a vintage uh, wall hanging stuffy plushy Snoopy and Snoopies that used to belong to my to my brother. This big one used to be mine when I was little. And my mama, Yaya, she found this big woodstock in a thrift store. And we have a tricolored beagle and a regular black and white beagle on a, on a beautiful little red heart. And these two little beagles are little Snoopies. And look, this one plays music. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. So friends, we thank you for joining us. Oh, but wait a minute. Remember how I said I love to spread the love? Here's an easy way for you to win some love. Down below in the comments, tell me what your favorite Valentine candy was when you were little. And then we'll make a drawing and the winner is going to win a $50 gift certificate to Etsy. And that way, I'm spreading some love, and you're going to spread some love, getting something you love, and also sharing the love with an artist or a vintage seller, and you'll be sharing the love with them. So don't forget to play along, and we'll see you real soon. And remember, peace be with you, my friends. Happy Valentine's Day! Mm -hmm.